All right, I'm in New York City and I'm going to demo the new pair of binoculars, AR binoculars called the Envision by Unistellar with John here from Learn to Stargaze and Heather from Learn to Stargaze. Hello. Yep. And they're supposed to be really cool. Let's go. Huge. We're up the Hudson River uh, trying out the Envisions. First look. So there's a handful of us here that are going to be testing them out. So we're going to first, each person's going to like get it tuned into their, their eyesight and stuff. Then we'll each rotate, taking our own turn. Let's go check these things out. And if you keep this button uh, two seconds, it will create the target lock. Mm -hmm can create a point and give the binoculars to other people to say, hey, look what I see. I'm going to find my target. I'm locking onto it. You're really looking right at the sun. <laughs> yeah. I guess I shouldn't do that, huh? This is pretty good, though. Can I put the GoPro up to this? Uh, GoPro has no magnet, so normally, uh, yes, we can try it. GoPro's OK? Yeah. All right. You will notice some shift on the line and wave. You see, you've been in the... I think you have a magnet inside. Okay. You, you see the line is yep. drifting That's following the movement. Yeah. So I'll redo it. <laughs> no magnet. I hope it didn't break. Oh, yeah. No, oh, it's back. It's back. Okay, we're back. You the target was like... AI, like my camera, it was way more responsive and accurate. So. That is so neat, though. Yeah, I'm impressed. Good show out here. These these mounts, I'm going to look at this one over here, and it says hook, hook mount, not hook point. It's hook mount. Let me tell you how tall it is. That little thingy. 218 meters high and 5.7 kilometers away. I knew that. So it names the mountains and how far they are, how tall they are. That's pretty fancy. So imagine taking this and you have a friend with you and you, you lock on a target in the sky or where, even if you're just like looking at a boat, be like, look at this, you hand it to them and it has little arrows, puts it right to it. It's pretty cool. Have you tried it yet? For the point in, of interest you have today, you have only the peak of mountain only some peaks, but we want to add some uh, valley, some rivers, uh, some cities, uh, fountains, other... Statue of Liberty. Yeah, exactly, some monuments. We can add uh, every uh, point that is uh, yeah. Google map or Penn Street map. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. And I was expecting these to be heavier. They're, yeah. not, that, they're not as heavy. How heavy are they? It's almost the same weight of yeah. uh, standard binoculars. Actually, we save some weight on the structure with some more modern uh, materials. It's composite material. Yeah, composite, exactly. Composite materials. We just add the, the battery, like just small batteries, a standard one inside, and some electronics. Huh. Fantastic. That's it. Chasing a plane? Yeah, I'm ch plane chasing. Oh, that's an AWACS. Oh, it's so cool. That's a military like radar plane. Wow, I wish you could see what I'm seeing. You want to try? Oh, yeah. I'll film you. Holy moly. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. How long have you been working on this project? So the, the first spark is about three years ago. About one year before the Kickstarter, we started to work really seriously on that and, and have the first proof of concepts. And, and now we're here with that, uh, with that, with that uh, prototype. How, how exciting is it getting seeing it out and being used now? Like at least the prototype. It's, I mean, um, I got to try this fully integrated prototype like um, it was in July and I was really pleasantly surprised by how is how it really helps with the sky observation and also how pleasant it is to use by day I mean it's you know like just overlaying the mountain shapes with the AR I mean it really I can't really wait to have those, all those features we have imagined added to it 
yeah. because I can really feel how far it can go in terms of user service it can, it can give. I really like this thing. And I want to tell everybody about it right now, but I can't. I got to wait till October. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's really cool. This, this helps you learn it. You have go-to mounts and you have smart telescopes where you can type in the thing and it goes to it. But this, it directs you right to it if you're looking for it. I mean, you said it have like star tours and stuff built yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. So you go on a tour of the night sky. So you're going to be like standing there being like, there's this, there's that. And you're standing there seeing it, which I think is really going to help people learn the night sky. And like looking at mountains and knowing what it is. Um, and how far it is and how tall it is makes you sound really smart. If I'm talking to a bunch of people, I could be like, that's 317 meters. And it settles a lot of arguments like, no, no, this is uh, this mountain. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is really neat. He was talking to me about the landmarks and stuff. You can put it, anything on a map you can put into it. Yeah. So it can really recognize a lot of things. But there's an overlay and you can turn the overlay on or off and just use it as binoculars. But once that's on, it's like, you kind of feel a little bit like Iron Man looking around because it just it has like the target looking thing and you can lock onto things. It is kind of like Iron Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Without the missiles, it's flying. <laughs> it's a peaceful kind of Iron Man, yeah. yeah. This is going to be a popular item, I'm feeling. It looks like it's got threads for filters. Is that correct? Ah, yeah, yeah. It's, we plan to plan to use uh, solar filters. Oh, solar filters, yeah. And you can see the dots on the, oh, the sun. It's yeah, so cool. Sounds smart. Yeah, it sounds smart. So far, so good during the sunset test. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. I tried to put the GoPro up to it, but there's a magnet in the GoPro that kind of messed with it a little bit and iPhones right now kind of mess with it a little bit if you try to put a phone up to it but Androids we can stick up to it so I'll still try to get some of these Android up there to get some footage looking through it to really show what it's showing but um, next up after dinner is going to be the night sky viewing and I think I think we'll be able to see a little bit um, the sky's still looking promising tonight yeah check out that sunset how beautiful That's my sound right there. I love that. Oh, still see. Oh, these are pretty focused in. Whoever had these before did not have John eyes. Lauren. No, but I think a bat just flew. It looked like it flew into my soul. It's, it's that strange French. That arrow's amazing. Though. Is that fun? Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, 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 you're wearing day mode. I was in day mode. So, um, <laughs> see. so now, now you're in night mode again. Okay, I'm in night mode now. Game on. That is amazing. Did I see what you mean? Like an eye shield? Yeah. You're totally disappeared. Yeah. Wearing black really helps. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> and you see 863 or something? It's like rattling off the numbers that nobody can ever remember, but he, John knows them. Yeah. I feel like Iron Man. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. Heather's the camera off. And we've got a, we've got a UFO. Yeah, this is on the Alpha Percy cluster, yeah. open cluster. How is it? That's super cool. Oh, there's a bunch of people here. Hi, guys. I, I didn't mean to ignore you. I was just ignoring you. Here's our fearless leader. <laughs> Spared no expense. Yeah, we missed that train by like two minutes. I know. Yeah, we just watched it go. All right, so John, what is your thought of the additions? Yeah, I think what stood out to me is that it's a very authentic experience. It's not a camera. It's binoculars with an overlay that helps you identify targets and share those targets after you found them with your friends by like you said you hit the button 
it, it tags that target that you found in the sky, and then you can pass the binoculars over, and that other person sort of follows the arrow up to that target, and that was pretty magical. So like a 10x binocular, right? It's their 10x, yeah. Um, just the optics alone were phenomenal. Looking straight up, you could see so much already with it, but having that added feature where you're looking around and this thing is telling you what you're looking at, showing you the constellations in real time, it was like light bulbs were kicking off in my head, like, oh, that's what that is, that's what that is. Because there's so much you miss in between the targets, and this thing is like lighting them up. And that, I, I, I think at one point I laid on my back for like five minutes and just did this small area of the sky and tried to find as many names for things. I think it was in Cygnus that I could yeah. find. I thought having the, uh, the binoculars draw in the constellation lines yeah. was really neat, and then the way it works is you hit a button and they disappear. So you find what you want and then you hit the button and all the aids disappear and then you've just got a regular pair of binoculars, but those binoculars are pointing at the spot you want to point at. That's really unique and I think they captured it well. There are a lot of things that I hope they uh, that they add as features, maybe oh, yeah. for this model or nuance. I thought it would be interesting to figure out a way to use it without an app at all. Uh, and the two recommendations that, that I had were voice control. So you would say, hey, take me to M51. And then the arrow would show up and you'd go to it. And the other thing that I would have liked them to add is um, voice feedback. You know, not so much, hey, you, you've arrived at Andromeda. But like if something goes wrong to tell you or like powering on, powering off, yeah. object misaligned, like something like that just to guide you, like, audibly and then the and i think they're going to address address this is the feedback on the button so that you because there's five buttons so that you know exactly which one your fingers on as you're using them it'll be interesting if they add in any other controls that we've suggested it might be a little too soon because they're going to production fairly soon something I, I did notice was the weight the weight was comparable i was i was worried these things were going to be incredibly heavy oh yeah the weight was very comparable to just regular good quality binoculars and they said they will have that pole mount that you can get yeah, with it. Uh, monocular. Which? Or mono, monopole. Monopole. Monopod. Mono, monopod. Monopod. For the, for the binoculars. Sounds like a sea creature. And uh, I'll put an image of that here in the video. You could totally tell the vision of where they want to go with this and their goal of connecting people more with learning the night sky and exploring things. It has some work to go from what we could tell. But it was really cool. Something I think you had the name for is like the eye shield. Yeah, that was actually Heather's idea. Yeah, to put the, uh, Heather's behind the camera right put the, now. Put the eye cups in. The UI is a little sensitive to, to how lined up your eyes are on it, and things really can distract you from the side. So they make the eye shield stuff. You know, you've got the, the eye cups adjust for glasses, no glasses. I found they work much better, no glasses, which is typical for any binoculars or a telescope. Oftentimes, telescope eyepieces will come with um, one side that wraps around your face. The eye shield. The eye shield, yeah. I think all in all, it is incredible. I think they will get a lot of questions on, can we take photographs with this? How can I share this, a live visual, a video out, some sort of capture device included with this? I think they're gonna get a lot of questions on that. Yes. Yeah. When you see what you're seeing through it, you're gonna be like, I wanna share this. I mean, really, that's the, that's the job for a telescope, though, which they have. Yeah. And so, you know, these are a, a, a binocular experience, which is very different from a telescope, so, yeah. All right. All right, everyone. Put your questions below, by the way. <laughs> and we can edit this part out, but like, I just met John during this trip. He's a good guy. I like this. He, this is my new best friend. And he can't get rid of me now. Very wholesome. He's stuck with me. And uh -oh. all of you. We're, he's stuck with you. Nate's going to come to Nova Scotia. I need to come down to America land, go to some more star parties. Let's and do it. Hang out in Nate's, uh, Nate's RV. Let's do it. All right, guys. <laughs> Deal. See you soon. Okay, I have a gift. Heather gave me a space book 50 Things to See on the Moon. I don't know if you knew this, but I love space books. What? It's kind of like my biggest thing. I'm in love with it. Yeah. Yeah, John actually wrote this book. Can I get your signature, sir? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, I got a pen. There you go. I'm going to go sell this on eBay. Thank you yeah. so much. 
Sweet. It's going in my collection. So Heather here got got me a book earlier, right? So she gets a Hey Jupiter hoodie. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you. And now we match. Now we match. Yes. So awesome. So you're always talking to planets when we see them. Right. You have to say hello. hello you have to say goodbye. You have to ask how their time's been, what they've been up to, where they've been, all of that. Amazing. They're your friends now. Thank you. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is not the bean you said. This is the ball. What is this? You get close enough, you can actually see Mars in the background. Yep. Telescopes. What just happened? So John is doing this. I don't know why he's that close, but he's that close. And this man walking past goes, that's a, that, that's not how it works. <laughs> he's very upset. Why are you so close to him? Why not? <laughs> if you look close enough, you can see the future. And the future is looking up. The <laughs> present value of future cash flow. Let's go inform Wall Street right now. So we found some of the darkest skies in the United States here with John. Look at this. You can see the Milky Way right there. Hello, guys. I made I made some new friends here. Yeah, we're we're friends now. We're an established friend group. All right. See you soon.